Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 3. So, um, we're gonna be doing Oasis today, and hopefully getting more stuff done, but while we're here, might as well do this. Um, this actually looks really nice. I don't know if one of my mods are doing this, or the gators always look this nice, but... I don't know. But anyways, um, I tried to fix some of the issues with Marchmington Mod. I had to completely uninstall and reinstall both Marchmington Mod, Eve, um, Project Beauty, and then the Blackened and Paradox versions of Marsmith the Mod to get them all working again. I had to uninstall it, go into the game, remove everything, made the game basically automatically remove everything that was Marsmith the Mod related, do a whole cell reset, save my game, reinstall the mod, come back in, do a cell reset again. It it, it, it it was a little bit of a pain to do. I also got an extra mod that I'll be putting the information on the screen right now. I don't know who the author it is, but it's basically just a quick little patch for Mars Mutant mod, because apparently Mars Mutant mod's um, uh, paradox patch, I think that the one that merges uh, everything together, or um, yeah, the mod that merges all the files together to make a single file to make it less stressful in the game uh, wasn't updated to accommodate for the 6.2 version of Mars Mutant Mod. So certain fixes that fix certain crashes weren't there. So I had to install that patch to make sure that it worked. Um, I installed it before installing the merging patch, so I don't know how well that's going to go. But I didn't want to install it after the merging patch in case the merge didn't work. So, uh, long story short though, a lot of fixes, a lot of changes, and uh, a lot of stuff that I had to get done. But we're here, and hopefully there will be no more Bondo Mutants, there will be no more weird floater hunks of meat things, snake things, and there will be a lot less enemies. But there will still be new enemies such as Young Death Claws and new type of Super Mutants and things like that. It's just, I had to get rid of the really annoying super mutants because the super mutants are already tough enough to deal with as it is. I don't need to have more trouble. But anyways, enough of all that. Let's get in here to Oasis. Oasis is unique and interesting because of the fact that it's like one of the only places left in the fa in the entire Fallout universe during this period of time. I can't believe you're here. Hi. That um has trees that are nice looking, without mods, that is. This isn't a mod that's making these look green like this. Oasis is naturally green and beautiful because of the fact that it's just, it's somehow sheltered from the rest, I think. Or I think there actually is a reason why, but we'll get into that later. Uh, first things first. Uh, let me activate my mo my uh, quests real quick here for Oasis. Uh... Oh, maybe I don't have it. Wait. There's an old man guy that I was supposed to follow. Good to see you. Hello? Welcome, outsider. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Alright. <laughs> it's funny. I like that. I kind of feel like saying this just because I feel like that's what I would say in this scenario. <laughs> we no longer use devices like that. We cast our technology away many years ago. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. Who's him? I wish you could just tell me who he is already. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thank you. That's no one speaks his name informative. out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I swear, it's like a good version of Voldemort. He who must not be named. Alright, um... Why do you want to help? But I need a straight answer about who he is. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. You are in the wasteland. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us.
I love some of the responses, I really do. Um, why do you hustle tree miners? Be careful this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Uh, I like how this question just keeps popping out because you can just skip to the, like, the quest immediately, but I want to know more. Um, that's a good question, The huh? wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gate. Is that a challenge? Trust me, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten this close to the gate. This is all about meeting someone. Yes, my apologies. I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. And where can I find this person? Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Oh, great. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. What's the ceremony it's involved? Simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Let's begin the ceremony then. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Oh boy, okay, so I gotta do here and drink. I gotta wait for all these guys to freaking circle me. Freaks they are. Safe before this happens. Drink the sap. Oh boy. It's a drug trip. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except when you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his virtue. Amen. Soon. You will pass peacefully into sleep outside, and when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. I, I I wasn't told I was gonna pass. Uh, uh. Ah, now we're here. Now give me a second, guys. I'm just gonna move my setup real quick here, just so that I can more clearly talk to you guys while being more comfortable. All right, and so we are back. My stuff around, I had to get interrupted for a second there. But we should be good. And, uh, yeah, it turns out the guys weren't crazy. They actually do have a giant talking tree. A face. Yeah. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> Don't sound too good, buddy. They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? Yep. Never been talking to you before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, 
I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> you had a tree thing growing on you, and you it was called Bob. And then you started calling it Herbert to annoy it, and you think that's the reason why it grew around you. Okay. Yeah, I know he's insane. Sorry, my girlfriend's just gesturing to me right now. She's watching me do this, and she's just as confused as I am. Trudging here and said this Herbert, I mean Bob thing. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually... He got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. Oh, did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was... Exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah, yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. The tree miner said you needed my help? Yes, yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do, me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? What do you want a bullet, head or gut? I wish it was that simple. No. No. There's only one way you're going to be able to do this for me. I kill you, every treatment will come after me. Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say. But I'll make them come around. I'm about to kill your tree. How to put this. I've been feeling rather... spread out... lately. I think Bob's... kinda... shoved my insides around some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you sound it's like hard it. to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Well, I used to carry those pesky caps a long time ago, but I think my pockets are in those shrubs over yonder. 
I'm pretty sure the caves below me are full of all kinds of nifty gizmos you can take on your way to my heart. Help yourself. All right, sure, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. You will? Oh, oh you... You made us so happy. Oh, oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. By our tree. No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. And yeah, so that's the whole Oasis thing with the talking tree guy. So, um, basically, yeah, we have to go... Oh, shit, I didn't want to drink the water. Oh, that's going to radiate me. So, yeah, we have to find a way to kill him by going into his heart and destroying it. There is a few other options, though. You don't have to do that. So let's go back and talk to the tree minders and see what we can get done. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bloom Seer Poplar, soothsayer and healer of Oasis. It brings me great honor to welcome you. Oh, there's a lot of information here. All right, let's begin. Any information you can give me on the caves below Oasis would be helpful. Be wary of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. In this place to grow? In what we call the harvest month, the Great One creates seeds among his branches within seed pods. At the end of this time, the pods open and the seeds are carried quite easily upon the wind. It's quite beautiful. Wherever the seeds take purchase, they grow into trees, plants, grass, or all manner of wonderful things. Oh yeah, that's the big thing, is that Oasis and all this life and beauty around here is being caused by Harold and Bob who are growing so if I do kill Bob and Harold then there will be no more trees to grow because then the radiation and everything will end up killing them all and there will be nothing new to grow because it's being grown by the magical tree over there so that's one of the things you have to think about when you try to make this choice he's not my god he's everyone's god you me everyone this place isn't meant just for the tree minders. It's for all mankind. Yeah, do you want to kill outsiders? What if there are others that don't share your opinion? You'd think they'd realize that this place won't remain a secret forever. The caravans know about it, and you happened upon it. How long before someone comes to take this place by force? No, I say allow Oasis to grow, and that issue becomes moot. What? How did you end up here? My father was a healer like myself. He had the most curious books I would read about trees and plants and their medicinal properties. Many years later, I heard a rumor about a place such as this. I spent a decade in search of it. I've been in this wonderful place for over 15 years now. Did you have to do to become a tree minder? I was the third one to arrive here in Oasis. Tree Father Birch was a bit wary at first, but Leaf Mother Laurel convinced him to let me stay. If she hadn't been around, I doubt Birch would have ever let me stay here. After a while, they taught me their ways, and together we developed the ceremony of purification that you undertook. I have to go now. May your spirit rest in his branches. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's her. 
Why is my voice constantly switching between loud and quiet? It's really weird. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, next up would be... What about so you? So you're the outsider, huh? You seem nice to me. Any information you me about the caves below? My says? parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters in there. Hmm. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, I go into the grove and talk to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his root after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one. Aw, I never knew an outsider could be scared of anything. Of course. Harold told me that he's scared of fire. If fire ever got on him, it would burn him and Bob until they were all gone. That's why we keep the fires far away from him. Mm-hmm. So that's the second hint for one of the second options you have. So you have the option to go down to his heart and kill his heart, as he would like. But if you don't want to take the easy option out, if you have a flamethrower or a flame spitter or anything fire related that's strong enough, you could quite literally burn him alive and just skip the entire process. He would, of course, burn alive and he would feel the pain throughout the entire process and it's a very nasty way to kill him, but hey, it'd be easier. Sadly, I do not have a flamethrower, so I can't do that. I was born here, silly. No, <laughs> she was born here, okay. You have to do become a tree minder. Just get born, I guess. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> All right. May your spirit rest in his branches. All right, thank you. So that's an interesting little secondary option there. It's very nice to meet you, outsider. I'm branch tender Linden. Any information give me about the case below? Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. So, Oasis was originally a vault location? That's possible. What about God? Well, I'm not so sure the Great One is a god. I mean, I don't believe in that sort of thing. However, I am beginning to realize he's special. Something greater than any of the creatures in the wasteland. I was found dying in the wastes not far from here by a trader caravan. They knew about this place and brought me to Bloomseer Poplar. She nursed me back to health, and I've stayed ever since. Dying? How awful. What happened to you? I was a Brotherhood of Steel outcast. Ooh. We had a deep patrol out here looking for some tech, and they got jumped by some death claws. <laughs> they shredded everyone else and left me bleeding to death. If it wasn't for Oasis and Bloomseer Poplar, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this place. It's beautiful. It's a shame only a few people will ever get to see it. Yeah, that sucks about uh death claws. All right. I sort of fell into it, I guess. I woke up here and I just stayed. After a while, I became one of them. May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. All right, then. Also, I leveled up. 